I'm back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.8 Finding Areas Part 2. 11.8 represents Chapter 11, Section 8 of the Personnel of Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. Over here, I have another exam style question. Figure 6 shows the curve given parametrically by the equations x equals 6 cos t, y equals 5 sin 2t, t is more than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to pi over 2. Use calculus to show that the area of r is given by 20 minus 15 over 2 square root 3. Now calculus can be integration or differentiation. You need to select the suitable technique of calculus. Over here, we are working out an area, therefore we select integration. Now to find the area of r, we need to take the integral from t1 to t2 of y dx over dt dt. The next step is to find the t limits t1 and t2. So we are going to find the t limits. The first x limit is x equals 0. When x is equal to 0, this implies that 6 cos t is equal to 0, which implies that cos t is equal to 0, therefore t is equal pi over 2. The next x limit, ladies and gents, is x equals 3, which implies that 6 cos t is equal 3, which implies that cos t is equal a half, therefore t is equal pi over 3. Now, I need to work out dx over dt. So I'm differentiating x with respect to t, and if I do that, I get minus 6 sine t. Now I'm going to find y multiplied by dx over dt. So y dx over dt. I know that y is equal 5 sine 2t. I'm going to multiply this by minus 6 sine t to give me minus 30 sine 2t sine t. I can take it a step further. I can use a double angle formula for sine to split the sine 2t into 2 sine t cos t. So I can write minus 30 multiplied by 2 sine t cos t multiplied by sine t to give me minus 60 sine squared t cos t. Okay, now the area of is given by the integral from t1 to t2. t1 represents this limit, t2 represents this limit. So the integral from pi over 2 to pi over 3 of y dx over dt, which I've calculated to be minus 60 sine squared t cos t. dt. Now we need to select a suitable technique for integration to integrate this. Okay, no problem. There is a suitable technique that we can use, ladies and gents. Before I use that suitable technique, I'm going to rewrite this integral as follows. The integral from pi over 2 to pi over 3 of minus 60 cos t sine t in bracket to the power 2 dt. Okay, if I take my function f to be sine and I differentiate f to give me f dash, that's the same as just differentiating sine, which is a cos. And I've got a cos here, which represents f dash. I've got an f dash in front of f. Therefore, this particular integral follows one of the forms of the reverse chain rule. And that form is as follows. The integral from a to b of k f dash of t f of t in square brackets to the power n dt. Now when you have this particular form you need to try y equal f of t in square brackets to the power n plus 1. So I'm going to be um, using the reverse chain rule to integrate this. So what will I try as my y? Well, I'll just take y to be sine t in brackets to the power 2 plus 1, which is 3. 
Now, I need to differentiate y with respect to t. So if I do that, I get dy over dt is equal 3 sine t to the power 2 multiplied by the derivative of sine t, which is cos t, which can be rewritten as 3 cos t sine squared t. Okay, now what do I do next? Well, I can put a rectangle around this and a rectangle around this. Okay, now I'm going to carry out a quick observation, ladies and gents. Over here, I've got 3 cos t sine squared t, but over here I've got minus 60 sine squared t cos t. The only difference between the two expressions is that over here you've got 3, but over here you've got minus 60. How do we go from 3 to minus 60? We can multiply by minus 20. And we also know that if we integrate 3 cos t sine squared t with respect to t, we get sine t in brackets to the power 3. Therefore, if we integrate minus 60 sine squared t cos t with respect to t, we get minus 20 in bracket sine t to the power 3. So the integral of this expression with respect to t is just minus 20 in bracket sine t to the power 3. We put in our limits pi over 2 to pi over 3. Now I substitute pi over 3 into here to give me minus 15 over 2 square root 3 take away I substitute pi over 2 into here to give me minus 20 I can rewrite this as 20 minus 15 over 2 square root 3 and that is precisely what I needed if you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe